welcome back to my channel Shanice here and today I am sitting down for the first time in front of camera y'all already see the title but yes this is my one month post-op video this is my check-in this is my how I've been doing over this month uh, what's been going on during recovery answering any type of questions that I think you guys might have I have a list on my phone of the things that I've gone through this whole month because it has not been easy. But here we are. I'm one month and, well, yesterday would have been one month. What's today? Let's see, I don't even know what day it is. Um, today's Tuesday. <laughs> yesterday, which is September the 14th, would be one month since I've had my surgery. And I had my surgery on August 17th of 2020. And um, I have a vlog. If you guys have not seen that vlog already, it will be up before this video, of course. So if you have not seen the vlog already, go ahead and watch the vlog. You'll see my days leading up to surgery, surgery day, a little bit after surgery, what I was feeling like, what I was going through. All of that so go ahead and check that video out um, we are one month and one day post up of my breast augmentation slash mastopexy goodness <laughs> like I said I'm gonna go through the notes I have a whole list of things that I was recording during my recovery process um, yeah so the first week that was post up um, it was good. It was all right. Like I said, I was kind of sore. When I first came out of surgery, I just felt like somebody punched me in my chest. I didn't really have pain, pain, but yeah. So when I first came out of surgery, I was still feeling kind of sore. I didn't really have any range of motion. Like you can't really lift your arms and things like that. Um, now, of course I do, but first we got a surgery. I had barely any range of motion. I couldn't really do much with my arms. I felt really, really tight because I did get a lift as well as implants. So I just felt really, really tight, <laughs> really tight. My breasts were still not soft, obviously. So they were, they felt hard. Um, yeah, so they weren't soft at all. My incisions were super, super, super itchy. Oh my God. Like I literally went to not wear clothes ever. <laughs> Like, the first week after, like, my incisions were starting to heal, which I'm sure that's part of the healing process, but my incisions itched so bad. So bad. It was horrible. So just beware. You get this done. Your incisions will itch so much <laughs> that first week. Um, I was sleeping on my back, and what I really wish I did, which if you're getting this done, please do, practice sleeping on your back probably like a week or two before surgery so you're not so uncomfortable. I'm a stomach sleeper and a side sleeper so sleeping on my back was so uncomfortable for me. I not being able to move was so uncomfortable for me and I actually hated it. <laughs> I still sleep on my back of course but sleeping on my back was so hard to do and get used to and I had back pain, I had back soreness because I just could not get in the right position that was comfortable enough. So sleeping was not the easiest, I ain't gonna lie. That first week, sleeping was not easy. Um, I had to basically sleep at like a, a 45 degree-ish angle. So I wasn't flat on my back. I wasn't like at a 90, but I was kind of like, you know, lean back a little bit and it was, it sucked. <laughs> it was so bad. Since I, before surgery, Obviously, I had nothing, and I'll show before and afters, but I had a really empty, what they call, he said it was like an empty C, B, B, C cup, so it was just completely flat, I had nothing, so like, I wasn't used to feeling anything there, and so now that I have these implants in, my chest in the first week felt super heavy, like I would get up and I was like, oh, Jesus, it's so heavy, but now I'm starting to like get used to, you know, something is there there's volume there and you know now it's getting a little bit easier but that first week honey everything just felt so heavy I was like oh I just had to like hold myself when I got up it was it was not fun I was able to shower 24 hours after surgery thank god um with assistance of course my mom shout out to her mama dukes coming through 
my mom helped me um shower i felt like a brand new baby again that's what she was saying <laughs> she's like i can't believe i'm doing this and i was like i can't believe you're doing this either but yeah so after 24 hours after surgery i was able to shower thank god so that was that was nice i was glad that i didn't have to wait like you know a few days or anything like that so i was able to shower right after surgery i was doing a little bit of activity by like the fifth day after surgery not okay when i say activity i mean like getting up and moving doing a little stuff around you know the house stuff like that but like not major activity obviously I can't do that for six weeks but I was getting up by the fifth day and I was feeling a little bit more like myself a little bit we weren't there yet but we're feeling like we we're getting there I stopped taking my pain pills by about the seventh day um, I did not want to you know get stuck on those at all <laughs> at all so I was prescribed narcotics and a stool softener because the narcotics will like get you constipated but I didn't have that problem thank god but I was off the narcotics about the seventh day and I was just taking um extra strength Tylenol if I had any pain or soreness so there was that coughing and sneezing <sighs> up until like last week has been so painful not painful but like it kind of hurts you know what I'm saying because you take a lot out of your chest to do those things and so honey it was it hurt it hurt yeah so that was my first week that was like the first week of surgery um, about the second week um, my nipples started to get so sensitive and I have never felt that type of sensation it's not like the good sensation it's like you don't want anything to touch you kind of sensation and I was glad that because my doctor was saying either two things can happen one they could be numb for who knows how long or two they could be hypersensitive and honey they were hypersensitive that didn't stop until probably like this week I ain't even gonna lie but nipples were on 10 okay for a week or two and it was just so uncomfortable like I didn't want to wear clothes. I didn't want anything to touch them. I didn't want to put anything on them. Like, girl, <laughs> it was it was bad. And then I had a little bit of complications. What well, what I thought was complications, my doctor was like, "Girl, it's normal." But my left breast, and I don't think I mentioned this, but my left breast is a little, sitting a little bit higher than my right. The muscle on this side is a little bit tighter than my right side, which doesn't make sense because my right side is my dominant side, but these things you can't really control. So yeah, my left side, I have to kind of massage it and do things here and there, but my left side, the cross incision underneath was looking a little bit like it wasn't trying to close. And it was scary at first. Um, I did call my doctor just to make sure this was normal. When I saw him for my post-op, he did say that it's normal and it's it's gonna heal and it did thank God but it was kind of scary uh, I don't think I want to post a picture because I think that might be a little bit too graphic for the, for the tube but yeah so it, it's just it was like a little little hole not really a hole it was just a little area that just it just wasn't it wasn't closing it was leaking this like clearish fluid um, not really blood but it was really it was leaking and I had to keep putting gauze and it was just a lot of work that I had to do with this right breast and it was just I mean my left breast and she just wasn't trying to cooperate like the right one the right one we love her she's doing great but the left one was just giving me some problems so yeah by the week by week two um, I had a lot of leaking going on and I was just trying to work with it trying to work with it my doctor said it was normal so I was just like okay fine you know I'm gonna trust you you know what you're talking about so I just kept doing what I was doing and yes he was right <laughs> It did stop leaking and we're all good now yeah so that was week two um, as far as activity I'm getting you know a little bit more active uh, being able to do things by myself showering by myself all those kind of things by week three the cross incision actually started to kind of bleed and I was a little I was getting a little bit more worried but yeah it was it was clear fluid at first like I said but then it kind of turned into red which was almost kind of like it was blood and it was like a lot and I was like uh oh so I called my doctor again and she was like it, it was the nurse assistant and she was like no you're fine um, I got aquaphor 
Aquaphor and I've been lathering all my incisions with Aquaphor. She's like, just put Aquaphor in there, wet gauze, and it's going to be okay. And like I said, it ended up being okay, but it was kind of scary at the moment. I was sleeping better by week three. I'm like going down, down, down. Like I'm not so much high anymore. I'm getting a little bit more towards sleeping on my back again. So by week three, yes, I was finally getting to be a little bit more comfortable sleeping. Um, like I said, it's still not the best for me because I really wish I had practiced sleeping on my back just so I wasn't going to be so uncomfortable, but what can you do? <laughs> um, coughing and sneezing still sore by week three. Um, yeah, it just, it is what it is. <laughs> it still was kind of sore. And I, uh, by week three, I'm back at work. Um, I work two jobs. One is at home from in a computer. And the other one I am, I work at Starbucks. So, you know, I got to do a lot. You know, I got to do a lot. And I had to take it easy at my job just to make sure I didn't pop any incisions or do too much. And everybody at work understood what was going on. And... You know that was that but I had to just take easy going back to work little by little but yeah week four which is where we're at um, everything is feeling so much better I'm feeling like myself again like I'm finally starting to feel like me range of motion is back I can do more um, I'm still not lifting too much because my doctor said keep it about five ish pounds um, so I'm still not lifting as much um, but I'm feeling more like myself. I'm getting used to having these new boobs and yeah, so I'm feeling better. I'm looking better. I'm starting to sleep a lot better. Like I said, I'm sleeping now. I'm almost completely on my back. I'm a little bit elevated, just a little bit, almost completely on my back. And I'm also sleeping on my side a little bit. So yeah, we're getting a little bit more adequate sleep now. And I'm so happy about that. My breasts are starting to soften up. My right one is a lot softer than my left. Like I said, my left is a little bit tight, so we have to kind of massage her down and get her, you know, to look like the right one. But in due time, she will drop and, you know, everything will be even. That is really all that I have. I think that's everything until up until now. Uh, like I said, I feel so much better now. My incision that I was talking about earlier is not leaking anymore, thank God, because that was just a lot of work to maintain. Um, but that's all part of the healing process. And yeah, I'm just so happy with my decision. It was honestly the best thing that I ever could have done for myself. Um, I just can't wait to work out again. I have to wait a couple more weeks, they said like six weeks, until I can work out. So I just cannot wait to get in the gym. Um, I may or may not have gained a little bit of weight, just that's just because I obviously can't work out and I just I can't wait to get into doing more physical activity and be able to lift more and just getting back to Shanice <laughs> so that's really what that's where we're at that's where we're at and if you guys have any other questions leave them down below I hope that y'all are happy for me I know this was a surprise to a lot of people but like I said I kind of wanted to keep this you know to myself I started telling people little by little what I had did but this was like I said one of the best decisions that I ever could have done for myself I'm so happy now I'm so much more confident I love myself in clothes again and it's only up from here so look out be on the lookout for more hauls and you know just more of me loving myself if y'all are on this love journey, go ahead and love yourself as well. <laughs> but if you, you know, wanted a sign or needed a sign to make that decision, go ahead and do it. Do whatever makes your heart and you more confident. Do it. Because this is honestly, like I said, I will never stop saying this. One of the best decisions that I've ever made. And of course, no, I haven't had kids yet. I can still breastfeed. Like, all those things are not going to be affected. Like I so, said, I'm so happy with the decision that I made. And, yeah, it's only up from here. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. As well as, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And hit that bell notification right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss the next upload from your girl. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.